Have you ever wondered what lies at the core of human behavior and emotions? Welcome to the intriguing world of clinical psychology, an essential field that seeks to understand, diagnose, and treat psychological disorders. This journey into the human psyche is guided by the profound insights from the book Clinical Psychology by esteemed authors Timothy J. Troll and Mitchell J. Princeton. With a wealth of knowledge and expertise, Troll and Princeton shed light on the complexities of mental health. They navigate the expansive landscape of human emotions and behavior, providing a comprehensive tour of the mind's inner workings. The book serves as a beacon illuminating the path to understanding mental disorders, from the common to the complex. This is more than just a book. It's a map to the labyrinth of the mind, a tool to decode the enigma of human behavior. So buckle up for an enlightening journey. Dive with us into this fascinating exploration of the human psyche as we delve into the key takeaways from this comprehensive guide. Clinical psychology is a vast field, but at its heart are key concepts and approaches that guide understanding and treatment. Dive into the depths of clinical psychology, and you'll find three core concepts, psychopathology, psychotherapy, and psychological assessment. Psychopathology is the study of mental disorders, their causes, and their effects on individuals. It's like the map that helps us navigate the labyrinth of the human mind. On the other hand, Psychotherapy is the process of helping individuals manage or overcome their mental health issues. Think of it as the compass guiding us through that labyrinth. It involves different methods, from cognitive behavioral therapy to psychodynamic therapy, each tailored to address specific types of mental health issues. The third pillar, psychological assessment, is akin to the tools we use in our navigation. These include interviews, observations, and tests that help us understand an individual's mental health status, personality traits, cognitive abilities, and much more. But what's the use of a map, a compass, and tools if we don't know how to use them effectively? That's where evidence-based practice comes in. It's the principle that clinical psychologists should use techniques and interventions that are backed by empirical research. It's like having a guide who's already traversed the labyrinth and can show us the best ways to proceed. Now let's not forget the importance of research. It's the fuel that drives the field forward, constantly updating our map, refining our compass, and improving our tools. It helps us stay up to date with the latest developments, understand emerging issues, and devise innovative solutions. But all this work isn't done in a vacuum. It's governed by ethical considerations that ensure respect for individuals' rights and dignity. These ethical guidelines are like the rules of exploration, reminding us that while we seek to understand and help, we must also respect and protect. These foundational concepts form the pillars of clinical psychology, guiding professionals in their quest to understand and help individuals struggling with psychological disorders. Clinical psychology is not just about diagnosing and treating disorders. It's about understanding human emotions and behaviors and how they play out in our everyday lives. Our daily encounters, from the workplace to our homes, are a testament to the relevance of clinical psychology. Think about stress management, for instance. The book delves into how principles of clinical psychology can help us understand our responses to stress and equip us with strategies to manage it effectively. Even in the face of grief, a universal human experience, Clinical psychology offers insights. It provides tools to not just navigate through the pain, but also to understand the intricacies of our emotional response to loss. And then there's the realm of interpersonal relationships. Clinical psychology can help us better navigate these complex dynamics. It guides us in understanding others' perspectives, improving communication, and resolving conflicts, essentially fostering healthier relationships. But the scope of clinical psychology doesn't end here. The book also discusses the future of this field, shedding light on emerging trends such as teletherapy and the integration of technology and mental health services. It also acknowledges the challenges, like the need for more culturally sensitive practices and dealing with ethical dilemmas in an ever-evolving digital landscape. Thus, clinical psychology, as presented in this book, is both a professional field and a lens through which we can better understand ourselves and those around us. So, what can we take away from this insightful book? We've journeyed through the core concepts of clinical psychology, highlighting the crucial role of evidence-based practice and ethical considerations. 
We've delved into the real-world applications, showing how these principles permeate our everyday lives. In understanding clinical psychology, we gain a deeper understanding of human behavior and emotions, equipping us to navigate our lives more effectively. Remember, every mind matters.